Hello and welcome back, my dear friends. Um, Warfare. I just made the claim on Lothian. I uh, started this one because I don't want to pay um, full admin points to call it. Gives a little bit of a discount. I also um, I have claimed this. And actually, uh, I have to start on this guy's too. But nah, it's 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 enough. Um, we don't need it. Um, just to showing off. To show this off, I mean, I have the mothballed our fleet because we want to um, blockade stuff in a bit. Now I have claims on this. I want to take like some land, whatever. S um, how do I start? If I want walk into this um, little province to attack them, I get no negative dice roll. It's all about dice rolls here in, in combat. And here I would get a minus one and like in mountains, like down here, I will get minus two. Also combat with and all that stuff in a second. I'll just uh, move here and declare the war. Um, yeah, sure. Help us. Mm, Castile, yes. Oh, France. Yeah, it was France. It's just nice. Um, but we have this. They won't help because of defensive attitude in distant war. That's not nice. I could work on this to make them not defensive, but I just uh, want to show off the bad fighting. So it's actually not important. Um, we need a claim, of course, or some other reason to go to war. A so-called Casus Belli. Um, like no cobalitarians, it's fine. It means um, if it's not a cobalitarant, this province, it will be uh, more expensive to take, even if you have core. Like in Wasp of course, not in Diplopoint cost. Uh, yes, I wanted to do that. It's actually a new button here. I want to call them all to arms against France because reasons. You can do that later, but after some month or after one month, it's not possible to call them anymore. Um, so we walk here, we um, reduce the speed and march on. Nice. Jesus Christ. Um, you should probably go here. Thank you. They have uh, three heavies, which is not nice. Um, random decision, siege ability, please, because we want to do siege guys. And they are moving to Cumbria. I can cause with the space, of course. And this minus one. Uh, I can't beat them there, I think. Also, we are now locked. It's version um, 1.13. So after they um, are halfway over to this province, the movement is locked. We can't change it anymore. We have to back, uh, walk back first. And of course, if you don't know this, um, right click to move your armies. But um, this should be clear, I hope. Uh, this is being repaired, but we have to help out because we are getting wrecked. Or not. Maybe we don't. Get back. Sink some ships, whatever. And then we want to crush the armies. And see them driven before us. We will arrive on the 19th of February. They are gone in 20, so we will catch them. In the woods, minus one, combat with minus 20%. Combat with is here, somewhere. Actually, it's in the tech screen, I think. Uh, improved by five, but that means you will see in a second. And it will improve by tech, like uh, every three or two techs, it will improve. And what that means in a second when we catch them on the 19th, like now. Here we go. Here's a fight. Here's a real fight. So we cross the river apparently. You can see that um, if we select this. River crossing and fighting in woods. River crossing because you can see it here. It's this little river I think. We crossed over to here. We are in Yorkshire, Cambria and Lothian. So basically river is everywhere. It's indicated here mm, but it's not clear if you're not sure. Check. Of course, you have to memorize it for multiplayer games, but hey. Uh, the ram rap mode is important. It's better to attack in these provinces because it's grassland and farmland. And attacking into this stuff is bad. Also here, minus one, two. 
here it's marshes minus one and here I begin the highlands which are actually highlands that's very badly in Germany because it's all woods actually easy attacking here in France it's maybe the reason we won in World War II but anyway and um, of course it gets complicated when you are like in these regions here steps is fine too but here is like woods and bullshit and here's even forest which is no difference, minus one, here no way is near all, all mountains. So actually it's better to build a defensive fort here. So when they are sieging your province, you can easily attack the sieging army. Building forts in marshland or something, nah, that's not a good idea. Of course you have no choice if you are out of your lands or woods. Then we have the roll. We rolled a five. They rolled a zero. They are bad. They have a one, one, two general. That means in the fire phase I get one added here. And in the shock phase I get one added. We get added the same. So we won't see any numbers because I have same skills on the battlefield. We are a bit be better at siege. But more about siege in a second. When we win this little fight here. I'll probably crush them. Um, combat with you see here. There's a max combat with. The rest get filled up in the second line. So not all our dudes are fighting. Later when you have cannons, you want to basically the second row to be cannons. And the first row, like, um, either cavalry. But you have cavalry, it's flanks further. You see? We couldn't flank. He yeah, can't even flank, even with the um, cavalry. Flanking range get increased by tech as well. Here, yeah, increased tank at tech 10. So that's far away. Um, cannons are attack 7. Um, we have plusy here because um, is, um, cavalry rash is 35%. It's not over 50, so we have um, a bonus. Actually, we don't get a bonus because we get a malus if we don't have um, sufficient supply. They have very little, um, little uh, dudes here, cavalry. They're getting already crushed. Of course, we are flanking with all these dudes and um, they're just getting outflanked here. Um, to win the battle, you have to reduce the morale to zero, not the army. If your morale is, I think, uh, half of your base morale, you just, just deck wipe them if you win. Uh, so if you are lucky, we'll just crush these guys. If your army is ten ti times the size of theirs, you crush them as well. Even it works like 15 on 3, I think. But uh, I have to look into the wiki about that. So you can just stack wipes one or two stacks. Like, whoop, and they're gone. It's all a big fight and stuff. Because they're just, uh, just too few. Uh, that should be it. You have the end screen of this fight. <coughs> we get prestige, army tradition, and war exhaustion for the losses. They get more army tradition if they lose. It's this important. The losing nation gets more army tradition because you um, learn easy from mistakes. Um, also a little prestige hit and a lot more work session. Here we have only um, a, a very little bit here. Actually rising from brocaded home ports, which is annoying. And they get actually um, high work session, which makes this number here go down. The more enthusiasm. But that in a second, um, because we actually have to fight France at some point, which is not nice. Of course, the fucking Austrians are doing their shit. Uh, we have the um, Castilians going here, the Spaniards. Uh, well, not yet, but soon. Our fleet is to 70% ready. We can sink the French fleet, maybe. Uh, actually, we should make a huge fleet and just crush these guys. We can hire a leader for the fleets as well. Cost 50 uh, points. Um, same, uh, but Diplo points, that is. Um, Adrenal costs 50 military power. Power wise, we are not that great because our king is upped up and he's so young, it's so annoying. But what can you do? Now I would split actually the army because they will come back. You can't follow up because he is a fort, so I can't go here. We have to use the fleet. We don't want to do that. So I would split it up. Say to this army, hey, we have here another guy. It's Richard Pl Plagenet. 
Plaginet, whatever. It's actually a two-star general. It's much better than our king, if you can compare it here. He gives in, in the fire phase two points, in the shock phase four. Four is already good. Four is really good. And maneuver means armies move faster and take less attrition. Well, let's go here. Um, it's the, a whole section in the in the in the wiki of Europe Universal Four about this stuff. It's all you need to know. You can do the math. There are people doing that, like a Roomba. You're like ah, little, every little dude counts. Like nah, it it's good enough. You don't have to plan perfectly. I mean, if you are um, that kind of person, you of course can. But it's really not important. So they fled these stupid horse. Um, now, the thing is, we have a siege going. Um, this has no fort. You can see that in this screen here. There's no forts. This is a fort. This is a fort. Um, here, of course, there are capital forts. All the French forts here, plus a capital. And these guys have a fort level. It's a fort level 3. Two from the castle, one from the capital city. It takes at least 9,000 dudes, like 9 regiments, to siege it down. Fort, uh, higher fort level decreases uh, progress. We have a um, siege leader though, a little good guy here, Lancaster. A siege one. It is increases a bit and it's not blockaded. Sea provinces are harder to um, blockade, uh, siege, and they're not blockaded because I just bring food in all the time. But we have a mighty fleet. <laughs> we sent them there to blockade this. There's a siege progress. Uh, positive. Percentage here means, um, like if you have 49%, you have a 49% um, chance to get it after this counter is um, full. The screen stuff progresses, as you can see here. Tick, tick, tick. It's um, each siege phase, it's here, uh, it takes 27 days. A base is 30, but we have power protection and we have siege ability. Siege ability reduces this by 10%, which is that. And that's why I took it, by the way, in the decision. Our army morale is still um, recovering while sitting here. And they are like, ah, we too, we have to get morale to move and stuff. Um, if your morale is zero, you can't move your troops, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but kind of logical, they don't, just don't want to fight it shit. You can't notice send this army here, but that's not my intention. <coughs> Man. My mouth is dry. Mmm. Could go here to fight these other guys we had war with. This two. Um, here's the French army, which is actually Munster. I'm sorry, it's French. Yeah, nearly the same. Anyhow, I don't want to do that because I want to block these guys to getting here. They just could siege all my stuff here because there's no fort blocking them. They could go here, not here. They have to enter the fort. If they are in the neighboring provinces, they can just go here and then out again. Um, they could go here, but not here because it's protected by the fort. They could, though, go here or to Essex and then to London to siege that down. Uh, nope, I would just blockade these guys. Um, that's the fun about um, this geography here. They have no options. And wars about options. You want to um, derive the enemy or about. Um, about? Off, off the options. Let's see. Progress modifying being fully blockaded by these guys. It actually makes you money. Another new thing is, um, it's from the CK2. Um, not engine, it's the same engine, but from uh, CK2 you have no loot bar. Um, the money, when it's full, it's like 10 from the development. And we plunder 2.66 each month. And here, if you... Hey cat, what's up? And here have more because it's higher development. Um, this goes directly into our coffers, which is nice. Spoils of war. Loot from Lothian, loot from Ayrshire, blockading Fief, blockade, uh, blockading Aberdeen, and blockading Lothian. Our fleet blockades all of the three provinces, which is quite nice. Gets us a bit more money and also raises their war exhaustion. Um, do we still have this here? Um, blockaded home ports? No, just attrition. Because here are people dying. You don't maybe don't see it, but they are. Here actually not. 
we have fully sieged it down, it's ours, it's um, controlled by us. But here we have this little indicator, this little, um, it's here too, um, little um, skull, which means, ah, they're taking attrition. Yeah, unit rate is 16, supply so limit is okay, but we siege. Um, CG means plus one attrition. If you are over the um, supply limit here, would you get even more? Or if you are like in the desert, like here, this is desert, a higher um, attrition ratio. So we have more of those siege stuff down. This can take forever. Um, the Castilians have arrived, which is interesting. Yeah, we could go in here actually, because it's a fort too. Yeah, let's do that because reasons. We want to help. Also, we want the prestige from this battle, like here. We stack right this guy. Stack right means there's nothing left. Uh, nothing. Th. Common edition is th. Of the army, they get a huge war exhaustion boot. Um, Marlos thingy, whatever. Um, hit. Hit was the um, thing I was looking for the word. We make a lot more prestige. Um, get some army tradition they get as well. That's why they're helping us. We crush the armies, see them driven before us, which is nice. We can't go off, we have to use the ships. We don't want to do that. Um, but we can siege this as well. They have no army left, which is nice. And we could now say, um, hey guys, um, you're nice and everything. Please come with us. Um, because the French fleet is like, um, no, it's blockaded. Why? From what? Ah, we can't go back. That's bad. So if we could move here, we could just um, say to the Castilian army, like, follow us. This is this one here, attached to this unit, if they are willing. Um, sometimes they don't do that because they don't want to. Um, we can, rabbit suppression, no. We can, like, um, if you're in our home territory, which is especially um, useful in deserts and stuff, just burn it. Like, um... What's this? Burn the land. We can burn a colony. We can't do that, of course, because we don't have none here. Um, colonies can be seized, seized too, for like 25 points, I think. And um, this is how it's called. Burnt land, like salted and whatever. Like um, It decreases the um, supply limit and increases the uh, um, attrition. Like you burn all the farms and shit. Um, because in this age, the army actually lives from the land. They go here and plunder everything to get food for the army. And if you like um, burn it all down, like up down to here, this not of course. Yeah, but even might be even better to just siege, burn this one because they will spend a long time in this province. Just burn it down. Let them siege it. Go try to make them suffer attrition. The ledger is really important. You can see here. Um, if we go for like Scotland, mm, here, total army zero. They have manpower to recruit dudes, um, but I don't think that's any um, any danger there. You can also look up France. It's probably on the top. Oh, we have the biggest army in the world, which is nice. Um, of the known world, of course, of this uh, little piece. France has a big army. They have a huge force limit, it will get bigger, it's ridiculous. And they have a lot of manpower left. More manpower than us, so we have probably go to... Um, mercenaries. Because, haha, now it's, the really important stuff begins. If the manpower pool here is empty, we can't reinforce our losses. We are sieging, losing 1% of dudes every month. And we have to replenish this um, with our manpower. And we only get 240, 224, damn it, each month. Uh, in our home provinces, we get 100 dudes per regiment each month. So it, it's, it's zero. If you have, uh, if this were zero dudes, and this regiment is still existing if there are zero dudes. And each month they become uh, 100. And enemy provinces, I think it's 50. We can actually check. Yeah, take this army here. Should go up to 727. Like in a few few days. 
even a bit more. It's about like 80 or so. And that can be increased by stuff like reinforce speed plus 33 percent and of course ideas. Mm. Yeah, you have to yeah reinforce speed, uh, so it's three percent. Also, here are uh, ideas will make your leaders better. Here, land leader shock, It'll make your um, combat ability better. Combat ability here uh, ten percent. Horses and for infantry, which just means if you have this um, war screen again, it just uh, makes ten percent or twenty percent more damage. So peace deals we had already. So that's all about war. The basics. If you have questions. We have an air, which is nice for England. Oh, the Wall of the Roses will fire. Well, that's bad. But not content of this video. See you guys later. I was just um, saying, if you have questions about warfare, just ask. As I said, the modifiers are on this game here. If you click here, minus one combat with and everything. But if I forgot something, just ask uh, below down in the video and I will make a follow up about this. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. And of course, I love you all. Bye bye.